So today we're going to talk about triangle inequality properties. And there are three that we're going to talk about. So our first one says, if one side of a triangle is longer than another side of a triangle, then the angle opposite the first side is greater than the angle opposite the second side. So say we know that CB is longer than CA, so which we can tell just by looking at it. So that means that this angle, angle A, which is opposite CB, angle A is going to be greater than this angle that's opposite CA, angle B. So our next property says that if one angle of a triangle is longer than, larger than the other angle, the side opposite the first angle is longer than the side opposite the smaller angle. So this is basically like the last one, just reversed. So if you know that this angle, angle A is greater than angle B, then the side opposite angle A, which is CB, is going to be greater than the side opposite B, which is CA. Whereas the other one, we knew this, and then we could figure out that. And last, we know, lastly, we know that the sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. So that means that the sum of, the sum of CB plus CA is greater than AB. The sum of AB plus CA is greater than CB. The sum of CA plus and CA, or no, excuse me, CB plus AB is greater than CA. So now we're going to do some examples where we use these to solve things. So is it possible to have a triangle with sides with the following lengths? 20, 9, and 8. So first we're going to add them all up and make sure that like the length of these two is greater than this one for every single pair of angles. So 20 plus 9 is greater than 8. Yes, that's true. 9 plus 8 is greater than 20. Oh wait, we have a problem right here. 9 plus 8 is only 17, and 17 is not greater than 20. So no, it is not possible. Okay, with lengths 9, 12, and 15. So 9 plus 12 greater than 15. This is 21. 21 is greater than 15. 12 plus 15 is greater than 9. Well, that's 27. And 27 is definitely greater than 9. And 9 plus 15 is greater than 12. This would be 24, which is greater than 12. So yes, it is is possible. Which angle is longest? So we know that the sides measure x, x plus 2, and x plus 8. If we were to order these from these sides from least to greatest, we would have x, x plus 2, because this x has the same value for each side. So if I just have x, that's going to be less than if I have x and two more than x. 
So, and then x plus 8, because this is saying 8 more than x, and this is only 2 more than x, and since x is greater than 2, this is our order. So, this is from least to greatest. Well, our angles opposite these sides are going to be the same way. So that means since x plus 8 is the greatest side, the angle opposite x plus 8 is going to be the greatest angle. So angle 2 is largest. Which side is longest? Okay. Well, we know this is a right angle, and a right angle measures 90 degrees. We need to find the measure of this angle. So, that's 30, by the way, if you couldn't tell. 90 plus 30 is equal to 120. And so 120 plus x is equal to 180. Because remember, the interior angles of a triangle equal sum up to 180. So then if we subtract 120 over, we get x is equal to 60. So this is equal to 60. So the side that is opposite the largest angle is going to be longest. So since this angle right here is the largest, that means side AC is the largest. So this is all we're going to do for today. But make sure you come back and watch the next lesson because we're going to start talking about how to geometrically prove the triangles are congruent.